If you've been using YouTube RSS feed to syndicate your YouTube videos and you haven't checked it in a while, you're in for a surprise. It simply is not working. Back in April of this year, YouTube changed their URL structure for the RSS feeds uh, and previous RSS URLs uh, for your YouTube channel are simply not working. Uh, the other day I went to my YouTube RSS feed and this is what I found, uh, basically telling me that the videos are not there. Uh, so going straight to the feed itself, um, it says no longer available. Um, I did some research, I found that the new structure is uh, displayed right here on the video. Um, I will be putting this in the video description in YouTube and right above the video on my blog so you can copy and paste quite easily. Um, basically, there's two options, one using your vanity name or your username, and the other one is using your channel ID. So I'm going to go ahead and record a screenshot um, on the next section of the video showing you how to um, find your channel ID and what a YouTube RSS feed looks like if you're not sure how to find your channel ID. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to find your YouTube RSS feed uh, with the new changes that YouTube introduced in April 2015. Now, the new structure of your URLs appears above this video on my blog, but if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll go ahead and put this in the description for you so it's easy for you to copy and paste. What you want to do is go ahead and copy it out and paste it into a notepad. The reason being is that uh, if there's any extra characters as a result of formatting, either on WordPress or YouTube, uh, Notepad will strip that out for you. If it shows up with any additional characters right here behind the words channel ID or username, just go ahead and delete those because really this is um, all that you need. Um, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and do the top one, which is using your um, vanity URL. Now, if you don't know what a vanity URL is, is uh, you can secure a name uh, for yourself in YouTube. Um, if you're developing an MLM business, uh, best would be to use your name. Um, if you have a brick and mortar company, you might want to choose your company name as the vanity URL. What that actually means is when you go to YouTube, and we'll show you what, go ahead and open a new browser here. And when you go to youtube.com forward slash the vanity URL of the vanity name, in my case it's my first name, last name, which is Gershan Yakir, and it already shows up here. You click on it and you will arrive at my YouTube channel. Um, so if I'd like to see what the RSS is for my YouTube channel using my vanity uh, URL, which is Gershan Yakir, I'm just going to open a new browser. We'll go back to the notepad. We're going to grab the first template, which again will be above the video, or if you're watching this on YouTube, it will be in the description below. Copy this out. Go ahead and put this in here, and just replace the word username with the vanity URL, which is Gershan Yakir. Go ahead and press enter, and this is what a YouTube RSS feed looks like. Uh, essentially, it's a list of all your videos. Any link you click on will take you straight to that video. But this is the kind of format that other websites can read, which makes it easier for automation uh, and syndication of your content or your videos into social media sites and other locations. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and show you how to find your channel ID right now so that you can... Um, do the second option. So I'm going to close this browser right here. Now, once you're on your channel in YouTube, you're going to want to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into YouTube. I'm going to use my main YouTube account to sign in. And now I'm signed into my account. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on the left here underneath the YouTube logo where it says my channel. Just click on my channel. And then you'll see right here this long string of characters that shows up is actually your channel ID. So if you go ahead and copy this from here, go back to the notepad where we left the second structure of the URL and instead of the word channel ID right here, go ahead and replace this, replace the channel ID that we got from the address bar 
in YouTube. Now if we copy this entire section right here, go ahead and open a new browser and just drop it right into the address bar, you'll see that you're actually getting the YouTube RSS, the new structure of the YouTube RSS using your channel ID. So this is one way to find a channel ID. Channel ID, probably the easiest one. Uh, let me show you another way that you can do that if for some reason um, that doesn't work for you. So you're going to go back to your YouTube account. You're going to have to be signed in. Um, go ahead and click on the your little picture on the top right hand side and select the YouTube settings button. Now you're going to go right next to your picture. There's an option for advanced. So click on advanced. And then once you're here, you'll be able to see your YouTube channel ID right here. So again, this is the same long code that you grabbed from the other one. So again, if you just copy that, paste that into the structure, and then you'll be able to uh, basically get this entire uh, new structure for URL using the YouTube uh, channel ID. So again, if you don't have a vanity URL, this would be your option. Well, if you've uh, watched uh, all the way up to here and you're still not sure what a YouTube RSS feed is or what it's used for, uh, in general, an RSS feed is a list of all your posts. Uh, if it's a blog or a Facebook account or um, in the case of YouTube, it's a list of all your videos. It's designed to be read by other online services. Um, and what they do is they grab your content as soon as it shows up. It shows in your RSS when you post it. They grab your content and they take that and post it to their site or uh, different social media sites, which will give you more backlinks and better ranking of your content. Uh, some example of syndication tools that I personally use are OnlyWire, uh, which can syndicate up to 50 social media sites at a time, and Tribe Pro, which has the ability to use, leverage the concept of the tribe and syndicate to hundreds um, and in some cases, thousands of um, social media accounts. Uh, the links for this will be uh, in the description of the video as well as on my blog. Well, if you've got some value from uh, this video, I want to encourage you to leave a comment below. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channels uh, so that we can get first look at uh, all the uh, different tips and marketing ideas I'll put out there for you. And of course, don't forget to visit my blog at gershanyakir.com.